Rebellious subjects. Enemies to peace. Profounders of the neighbor stained steel. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Uh, I was just reading some old Romeo and Juliet by good old Billy Shakes. On with the video. I'm gonna get your feet first and then... The Yeezys though? <laughs> yeah. yeah it, Killian's getting some killing shoes. <laughs> Uh, right. how, uh, yeah, it makes you wonder how hard his life really has been. Yeah. <laughs> so Crashing is our second short film on this channel. Technically, our first one is The Dark Side. But I don't really like that much looking back on it now. The only thing I really like about it still is the fight scene that happens at the very end. But, you know, you have to wait for like the first eight minutes of it with all this dialogue and just stuff. There's, I don't know. I wanted to make it into actual story, but... I don't know, it falls flat looking back on it now, but I, I'm sure at the time I, I was really into it. So yes, Crash Hand is our second attempt at making a short film, and this definitely came out better. There definitely, I really love how the intro credits still look. I wanted to make sure that it looked cool. I wanted to make sure that there was a song that kind of foreshadows what happens in the uh, short film. Let's okay. see. Stop! <laughs> you hit me with the mic. <laughs> and we also had one of my friends, Jordan, do the uh, illustrations at the beginning to symbolize the archer, the swordsman, the fighter, and the uh, wizard. I almost forgot what the continuity of Karate Shane. How could I forget about that? But yeah, it was the first time we had something like that. It, illustrations in a video, so thank you again to Jordan for doing those. Here's his... Instagram handle where he posts his cool drawings. I know he loves when I shout him out on my video. My life hasn't been exactly sunshine lollipops, but my future looks bright. And I won't let anything stop that. Yeah. What? I say we do. No, like, like I'm, louder. No, I'm learning the lines. That's not uh, my actual performance. Oh, then why am I recording? Why am I recording? Because I just had to make sure I had the line before I actually say it. Okay, okay, okay. God. You really thought I was doing Yeah, and I'm that? like, like, that's really soft. No, yeah. I okay. wasn't even looking at you. Okay. So I wanted to use Crash Shan as kind of the perfect excuse to experiment with things that we don't typically do in our videos. Like, for example, uh, putting in those illustrations from Jordan, uh, the intro credits, the cinematography, the fight scenes, uh, just the music montages, like all of those. Like, which is stuff you don't see on this channel, like, at all. Like, it's very sparing that we do it. But uh, yeah, we really wanted to see if we could actually do it and see how it would come out. And you know, honestly, I really like, up to today, I still like how Crush Ann is. I guess if I would have to name any complaints that I have about it today would be, we were on a very tight schedule with it. Um, as for some of you may know, uh, Camille and I only get to see film like every other week, so in one day. So we have to, as you can imagine, how our schedule's been, we would have to just film a bunch of videos in that day it's just so that we'd have stuff for the next couple weeks until we have to meet up again. <sighs> Jesus, dude. Scared me like that. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's go pirate the game. Pirate the game? No, dude, no. I'm a game pirate. I'm a pirate. But Crash Ant took about, I want to say, I'm trying to remember, it was about three to five different filming days. And typically we don't have to do that because our videos for the majority, of that are, the majority of them that are on the channel are easy to film and like can be done in just like less than a couple hours. But Crash Ant, we really had to take our time with that, with all the different scenes that had to happen. Some of my fellow soldiers were telling me that this resistance has grouped and grouped. As for the short film itself, I would have liked that during the narration parts while you're getting to learn about the characters uh, Killian and Axel, I'd like for, I would have liked for there to be more different background areas because uh, we don't really have a lot of places that we can film at. We can only have like at the park or at my apartment and like... We don't really film at Camilo's apartment because there's always people over there so... But typically... Mine is empty, for the most part. There's still people over here too, but we, we manage over here. 
But yeah, I would have liked to seen the characters at different places, like uh, when, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the video, but when Killian is talking about how he kind of held his mom's hand as she died, I would have liked for there to be kind of like a part where he's kind of holding a hand, uh, who's supposed to be his mom, as, as she kind of like loses life in her hands and just kind of just slips into death. I would have really liked to look back on in the video, but we just, we just again, we just didn't have the time to do that kind of stuff. So each uh, narration scene for those characters kind of had to be in the one room that they were in the entire time. They were talking about their life story. And zoomed in straight up to your face. <gasps> oh my god! Ah! Oh my god, bro. You're in the internet, butt naked. How you feel? I'm not. I'm clothed. I have a shirt, a sock on. You're gonna get flagged for this. No, we're not, dude. For the fight scene, I remember that we had to film that, I believe it was in January of 2017. Almost a year ago now, it's crazy to think about. But, uh, yeah, I know it was extremely cold out, like it was freezing. And as you can see, our characters didn't wear jackets, you know. They were out in the cold because it's not really supposed to take place during winter. Uh... It would have been cool to see like a winter style fight like at the end of Star Wars Episode 7. But uh, no, that's really not what we wanted to do for this fight scene in Cryshan. So yeah, you can imagine it was freezing out so we really didn't have time. And I also remember actually that day, I had to go to work. We didn't even film on a normal day we typically film. Like we typically film every other Sunday. But this was actually a Saturday. And we, were, we met up at like, I think it was like either at like 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. And I had to work at like 3 or 4. And uh, so we only really had a couple hours, and it was also freezing cold out, so the fighting stuff had to kind of be rushed, because, again, tight schedule. We didn't really have time to plan out the choreography, which we honestly should next time we do a fight scene, a fight scene and stuff like that, because that stuff is important. But typically, all the fight scenes that I've done in my career, like, I think there's about four now, and all four were done right before we started filming. It was like we would get to wherever we're fighting, like whatever park or whatever field we're gonna fight at. And uh, we would just come up with the combat there. And then like once we've gotten into the groove of it, once we know every single punch and kick where they are and we got the timing down perfectly, then that's when we turn on the camera and start filming from like a bunch of different angles so that it'll look better. How does the fight go? Um, you, oh yeah, you hit me with the book. That's uh -huh. what makes me do this, all right. So, uh, can you be over here? Let me grab the book. Yeah. No, oh, sorry. Stop throwing the books away. <laughs> I don't mean to. I just got a good arm. This book is getting beat the fuck up over here. Jesus. Let's do that again. <laughs> I tripped over the book. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> <All right. laughs> my shoe fell off. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Why are we messing out? It's so good every other time. It goes or it goes. And I guess I, that's another small complaint too is that uh, we really don't have a cameraman uh, at the moment. So it's we can really only get shots like on a tripod. Like I would love it if we could like the next uh, time we have a fight scene in a video that we can uh, have a cameraman there so we can get all the cool shots of like all the different angles and type stuff and can like follow a punch if he wants to just like that to a face because I definitely would love to experiment more with that for the next fight scene I don't know I don't know hope there might be one next year who knows I <sighs> At the moment, there's no video planned that has a fight scene in it, but we'll see. I mean, it's definitely up in the air for that. Come on, dude. Push-ups. Piece of cake. Yeah? Yeah. yeah for real? Hey, you'll be seeing in a second. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna, in the show, I'm gonna close the door and just sit down in the chair. Look at more right there. <laughs> New profile pic. But overall, I like how the fight scene looks. It's like, I believe it's like either 40 seconds to a minute long in the video, and I feel like 
it does good. It does what it needs to for the story. Because that's actually where the idea for the this for Crashdance started. It was like I wanted to, I want to do a, another video where we have a fight scene. Because the last one we did was, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the dark side where me and Antonio had a fight scene. That was the last time we did a fight scene on the channel. So I was like, you know, it's been like almost two years since we've done a fight scene. Let's do another one. So that's I where the idea for Crash and Star is, so I was like, alright, they're doing a fight, these two characters are fighting, why? What's their backstory? What's going on? What is what is the world like that they are living in right now? So we decided to kind of Hunger Games it up and be like, alright, the government wants two characters to, well, two people, when they turn 18, I believe, to fight to the death, because it's like the world's overpopulated and stuff like that. So... Yeah, that's where the idea came, that's where a lot of the stuff came from, that's that's the worlds that Axel and Killian live in. And also, and obviously, we want these characters to have a backstory, because if you just see two guys fighting and you know nothing about them, then why, as an audience member, would you care? You know what I mean? So that was the point of, after the intro credits stop rolling, we go right into, who is this character? Why should you care? What happened in his life that brought him up to this moment? So, so that when the fight scene actually happens at the end, you care. Somewhat, at least, I hope. <laughs> Almost didn't record that. Oh, what a waste of a scene. <laughs> yep. Because when you boil down to it, that's all the video, the short film really is. It's, you meet these characters, they narrate their history, they tell you what is their world like, and then right after, they meet and they have to fight to the death. Is there technology in the in 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 in, in, in this world of um cry Sean cry Shan? I mean, we never talked about it, but I know. What let's just you? say there isn't. So don't use that phone, bro. All right, but obviously that's yeah. not gonna make it into the final cut. Stop zooming the camera into my face. Every character. How am I supposed to keep trolling me with your comments? <laughs> um, alright. So we're gonna do... Shrek is love. Shrek is life. We're gonna do one last take. Right, Shrek. One last take. And this one's of me, because my last couple lines is like, I don't want to kill the guy, but if it comes down to it, if it's either him or me, it's gonna be him. So... That's what he thinks. <laughs> So I'm gonna, for this take I'm just gonna sit down and then look intensely into the camera. Like that? No, but you don't zoom in like that. Like, no, not really. no, not like that, stop. <laughs> so just sit back down on the ottoman. Dude, that's like, that's like Oscar winning shots. Yeah. Uh, for the ending of Crashin, I didn't want one of them to die. I wanted to leave, I wanted to have an ambiguous ending. So obviously I kind of, again, did the Hunger Games thing where it's like, all right, we're gonna refuse to fight and join up with a rebellion and take down the government for because this is not okay to be making 18 year olds go like this. Like they're right about to start adulthood, and and what do you do? You send them to fight, and they uh, most likely will die, or like I guess 50 50, depending. Obviously, it's depending on who you're going up against. And I'll, and we we'll also left like that just in case we will make a crush and two. Right now, there's no plans for it because, I mean, I've a couple ideas have ran through my head. I was like, all right, if we do a Crash Ant 2, what would happen? What would it take for it to be a good sequel to the short film? And just right now, we don't have the kind of resources that I would like to have for uh, Crash Ant 2. Like, I imagine in the sequel there would be, like, a scene, like, which happens, I guess, right... It, I guess the sequel will pick up right where they left off and they started running to the rebellion, but what I would want is there to be like this epic chase, like to, and there would be like these uh, soldiers who work for the government obviously and want to kill them both because now they refuse to, since they refuse to kill each other, they will both be put to death. But obviously it would require like a bunch of like actors, I guess, to play soldiers. And right now, don't have that, as you can see. You can just, you really only see me and Camila in videos, so obviously it would take a lot for a crash in two is, all, is what I'm just trying to say. So right now there are no plans for it, but uh, in the future at some point, who knows? If we feel like doing it, if we feel like it's a good idea for a uh, video, we'll do it. But uh, for now, for right now, there's not.
Welcome to a little bit of behind the scenes. Try a few to score some ice cream. Get some, uh, do that, do that. He wants them, he's so close to us. He's so silly. <laughs> he, he doesn't want it. I think he does. Wait, where'd he go? He's oh, behind okay. the tree. <laughs> this is a mission. Man versus wild. <laughs> okay, where'd he go? Oh, He's yeah. still behind the tree. Okay. <laughs> oh, See, he's so scared, dude. <laughs> he's right there. He's right there. Oh, yeah. Some chocolate, ice Some chocolate ice cream, dude. Get back over here, you scrap-looking motherfucker. Come on. I'm going for look. The ice cream's melting. Your ice cream's melting. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. You can do it. Some good old chocolate ice cream. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Yeah, fuck the fucking thing. Seriously. No, no, like, see. You want some ice cream or not, pal? Come on. I'll put it on the he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. There we go. There you go. Turn back away now. This girl like friendly, like and the same time like, eh, I don't yeah, think I'll trust these ass. I don't trust these assholes over here. <laughs> seriously, a friend of me over here. Okay, now he's just gonna go off. Oh wait, oh wait. <gasps> he's oh, coming, wait. he's coming, he's coming. Where did he leave the, where did he leave it? Uh, uh, I left on a leaf somewhere. Ah fuck it, he gave up. He's uh, and the two big songs that we use in the short film are, are, are copyrighted songs, actually. Um, Lullaby, that plays during the intro credits, and Welcome to the Jungle, which plays during the montage of these two characters getting ready for battle. And, uh, I mean, I guess we just decided to use those songs just because they were, they were the perfect fits for those two scenes. And the thing is, like, I really try really hard to make, you know, all of my all our videos, you know, monetizable. And, you know, not, not, not because we get paid, but just because it feels better. You know, it's like, you know, we, we're not getting any problems with that. I mean, for the first, like, I want to say, like, four years of my career on YouTube, I just put any song I felt like in a video and really didn't care. And those videos are still up, but obviously I'm, I'm not getting paid for those, which is, which is fine, because, you know, I have my own job and stuff. But, uh, when I started Paradox Productions, I was like, all right, every, from now on, every video I make is going to be royal, uh, monetizable and for the most part that's true I mean there's only been a couple of videos I've made in the past four to five years that have been like copyrighted which is fine because it's like a couple can go under the radar I don't really care it's not like I'm making money if I was making money off of the videos then I would care obviously but uh, since I'm not I don't really have to so yeah that's the reason why we put use those songs because they were just the perfect fit and there was no royalty free music I could find that is just that fits just as well if not better Alright. Alright. The scene though. <laughs> Alright. That's very it. artistic. <laughs> Cause that's kind of just what I have to do because as I said earlier, I wanted to uh experiment more with playing how music is interacting with what's going on visually. So and I don't regret it honestly. Like crush in like overall, Crushin, I still look back on it fondly. I still love a bunch of stuff that happens in it. He, of course, there are nitpicks I can make of it, absolutely. But overall, I really it's a it's a good step into what kind of videos that we want to start making starting next year. I actually did want to talk about some of the clips that you're watching right now. Um, one of the days that uh, we were filming, Camilo was just in some sort of mood. I have no, I've never seen this mood before, but he was just going around with the camera, kind of like filming everything, being super zany and wacky. And I was like, who is this? Like, dude, come on, we have to finish filming these scenes. But I don't know, he was just, I think he was just very energetic and hyper that day, which I don't really see ever. And I'm sure you guys don't see it either, but uh, not to say he's like, hey guys, we're what? Like, he's obviously not that, but he's YouTube a lot of slides. This is George's room, and like, look at this dude. This guy's kind of this guy's kind of weird, yeah. Look at that. Well, first of all, you wrote that. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Look at that. What does that even mean, dude? <laughs> Did he like come over and spread? <laughs> Did he come out throughout the nighttime and spread your legs open? He did. Yeah. Did he? 
Yeah. Was I'm it sorry, ogre? I, yeah, it was an ogre. It's never ogre. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me into talking about the videos that we're going to make next year. Now, we've talked about this in an update that was back in November. We're not going to be making sketches every week anymore, every Thursday, because we just want to transition the channel into something that we can actually be proud of. Because, honestly, ever since we've like kind of just stuck to the deadlines, like, alright, we got to make, make sure there's a video every single week. There, it's just really pigeon-toed us. It's just we worry about the deadline first when if you want to make good content, that can't be the first thing you worry about. You have to worry about actually making a good video and something to be like super proud of. And that's not something I can say for the majority of the videos on the channel. And it pains me to say that. Like, I can't believe that I'm just making all the, this content that I'm not happy about it. Uh, and this is a problem I'm having on the gaming channel too. It's just I'm all the, I'm like, I'm not a good Let's Player, so I kind of, I'm ending that too after this year. And doing a show that's related to gaming on there for 2018, which I'm excited to do. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do for 2018 is that just that we're going to take our time with our sketches more. We want to put so much work into them, put a lot of work into the writing, the filming, the acting, just making sure like everything is on point, as they say. Because I'm just tired of making videos that I don't even like. Like, there's... I, I just look at the videos that we've made over the years and a lot of them I don't like like next next I don't like I don't want to look at back on them because I don't want to cringe at how much I don't like that video in today's standards like obviously there are a bunch of videos that I actually am proud of but like they're not the majority and if they're not the majority if, and if the videos I'm making are not the majority I'm proud of then that's bad that is not good at all so, starting in 2018, I'm no longer going to post videos just to post videos, alright? If we end up making a sketch, you know, putting just a lot of work into it, but overall, the final product, I'm not happy with, not going to post it. Our videos will still be going up, going up on Thursdays, but just not every Thursday from now on. I think it's better this way because it, it definitely also helps for when uh, someone who doesn't know the channel comes and checks out one of our new videos starting next year and be like, oh wow, that's a good video. Because um, you know, I feel like a lot of the videos we've made won't give anyone that impression. Let's go bring an era of peace to this world. And we're done. All right. It's so dark out. Oh no, that shot's kind of dark, no? Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. We got sun. We lost right. sun. We lost right. the sun. But it's good. These scenes are. I already have a few ideas in mind for videos, and I'm excited to make those. And also, we're definitely going to be more making more short film type videos. So I definitely do have a video in, in mind where uh, there will be definitely be music being played and having to do with the visuals of stuff like that. Because I really liked that about Crash I think it's probably my favorite part about Crash but the music stuff. So definitely more of that next year. You're gonna, you're gonna have mass stupid footage. This is what they've done in I know. <laughs> I don't know. Footage of me recording, no, no. The TV, Chelsea, outside. <laughs> But yeah, I think I've said all I've needed to say today. Um, there won't be a BTS next week because what we decided to do for next Thursday is that we're gonna... There was a montage video in the 100 subscriber video that we did back in, like, I think it was September. And I really like how the montage came out. I've worked so hard on that montage and I'm really proud of how it came out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it its own video because I want to look back at that montage fondly and I don't want to go back to the 100 subscriber video because obviously it's like it doesn't show up until after the first eight minutes of the video where we're just kind of talking about stuff, you know, how we're thankful and all that and what we want to do in the future. So. So yeah, the montage is going to be its own video, and that's going to be next week's video. So if you haven't seen the montage, then don't worry. You don't even have to go back to watch the 100 subscriber video, because it'll be on the channel on its own video next week. And then we're, and, and also, it's just a good way to wrap up the year, because the montage is our videos from the past four years. And honestly, it's a real tearjerker. As long 
especially if you've been with the channel for a long time, you'll see, oh god, I remember that video, I remember that. Like, you'll even see, like, the quality of the cameras that we've used over the past four years, and you also just see how us, how much we changed, how much skinnier I was back then, and I'm just a big, fat, f I'm losing weight next year, that's definitely, I definitely want to go back to that, to thin George. <laughs> no longer thick George. <laughs> oh yeah, I also wanted to say we enjoyed doing the podcast so far, so yeah, that will definitely still be happening every single week starting in January, so that there's still something you guys can watch every week from us, but just... Not the sketches. We want to take more time with those. The podcast, it's fine if we post every single week because it's just us talking about stuff. I mean, obviously we're not going to be proud of every single episode of the podcast, but at least for now we have been because we've been surprisingly really good at just talking for like an hour. We didn't even think we were able to when we started thinking of doing the podcast, but you know, it's been going good so far. That's, I mean, we also need the gloves. Oh, no, no, Stop. I guess you and Chelsea don't like outros. <laughs> well, it's like, <laughs> put it in your face. Like, shit. I don't know why Kanye West hates TMZ. Should be a TMZ. Should be a paparazzi, though. I'd be like, hey, Spanish Jaguar. I heard. No, stop. Get out of here. You, no. I heard no, you no, and no. Spanish Panda had a, had a breaking up. No. Uh, no. I mean, we're having a little falsing out, but, like, nothing to be concerned about. We're still going to be making videos, and that's it, all right? Yeah. Yeah. I heard he was being annoying while filming this 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 um this one video called Cry Shan. Is that correct? I mean, sure, but I have a high tolerance for annoyance. Um, when can we be expecting this new video? Uh, it's soon, soon. I still have to do some final posts to it. Can we get like an an No, nope, sir? No, nope, that's it. That's it. You want the scoop? No want more. The inside scoop. No more. Give us I something. have to eat give us milk some, now. Give us some details. No, absolutely not. You'll there's no trailers, no nothing. You'll get it when you'll get it. All right. Fine. Hamilton, boy, these young receivers, that's News article. Smash Jaguar and asshole to paparazzi. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. I, I've talked way too much. This, I'm sure this BTS is going to be just super long. So not as long as the Getting Rusted Challenge, but like BTS for that one. But this, this will definitely be like probably the second longest. So I will see you guys next year. Bye. Hi, my name is George Teratua. If you want to watch more videos, you can click on over here and click on over on this logo to subscribe. And if that still doesn't convince you yet, how about I throw in a beanie for it? A white one, or, or I got a blue one, or, or maybe this, this purple one, or a gray would in fact, a, a green, a yellow. Is this convincing anybody? Because Or else this is all just a facade.